You know, uh, in internet time, this is actually a, a really old topic, but despite the fact that the topic is old, I don't really do videos on trending topics, I do videos on stuff I, I have something to speak on or some thoughts on. I'm going to have time to make the videos, obviously. Uh, so, you know, if I was a actual YouTuber, or if I was a good YouTuber, I'd probably start talking about Crowd and Tea right now. Except I don't have the expertise to talk about Crowd and Tea, nor do I have the information or desire. The only thing I can say about Crowd and Tea is I, I never liked him, and his behavior is not incredibly shocking to me, if I'll be totally honest with you. So, yeah, I'm just a spectator of that nonsense. Well, on this nonsense, I have to say, I, there's a couple of things I could say, a couple of interesting thoughts I can pose to you. Not really very many thoughts that would convince most people who were upset by this, but thoughts nonetheless. So, a couple of weeks ago, or maybe like about a month ago, uh, Lauren Southern caught some heat because in the past, she dated a half-black, half-Irish Christian guy. So apparently, someone on Reddit or somewhere dug up some information on Lauren and decided to release it onto the internet. They showed uh, that Lauren used to be a cosplayer, which I'm pretty sure I knew for a while and it was just now remembering it. I think I knew. Maybe. I don't know. But they showed that Lauren was a cosplayer and they showed that she, um, you know, she got some penis by um, from a hybrid. And a lot of the individuals who are alt-right white nationalists, they got their feelings hurt by that one. They were a little upset that their, their princess, Lauren Southern, at one point in time, maybe, got some penis from a hybrid. It's really interesting to me, honestly. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to watch people get upset with Lauren Southern because I've spent the last couple of weeks trying to figure out, like, at what point did Lauren Southern say that, that she, she couldn't do that, that it was wrong to do that? I don't know, I don't remember when Lauren was like, hey, white women, don't be with niggers. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> whenever that was a stance Lauren Southern had. It just kind of seemed like something that they projected onto her. Uh, but it is an interesting topic to think about, though, to think about um, interracial couples or interracial dating. I think I made a video about it a while back ago and about how much, like, I honestly don't care, and like how if a white woman came up to me and was like, hey, is there a s yeah, and like she just threw some vagina at me, and be like, thank you. I, you know, to me, it's just like, you know, a woman is a woman, it's not really... Now, obviously I have my preferences, my preferences, my, my preferences, um, and my preferences, interestingly enough, were actually, um, if, if I could like choose like buildawoman.com, you know what I mean, like... She'd definitely be like some mixed woman, okay? Like, she wouldn't be just from one place, you know? I'll just, you know, just get my melting pot and just, just throw everything in there. If it were me, if it were up to me, my I mostly care about, you know, how good of a mother this woman is going to be. How much wisdom she has to pass down to her children. Does she respect me? That's another, that's a good one right there. Not that does she love me, does she respect me? That's a good one people need to think about, but they don't, see? That, those are the kind of things that really get me. Those are things that I think about. I don't really care too much about the individual's uh, race. Now, the reason why this would be an important thing to think about is because they're white nationalists. And they want to save the white race. They want to save the white race from white genocide. Now, whether or not you think that white genocide is an accurate word to use to describe the fact that white people aren't making more white people, and that's kind of basically what it boils down to, they think that it is a problem. So when you want to analyze what these people's issues are, you really have to look at it from that frame of reference. They look at Lauren, and they see she burns the coal, and they say they burn the coal. I don't. It's an interesting turn of phrase to me, honestly. Uh, I don't really entirely understand it, but it's neither here nor there. So they look at the fact that Lauren burned the coal, and they got upset because they're like, I mean, what are you doing, Lauren? You espouse our, our alt-right talking points, and yet you move off and you do such a thing. Now, from that frame of reference, even still, though, I know I just said that you should look at this from their point of view, but even then, that doesn't make any sense, because one, I don't remember Lauren ever actually claiming to be alright. In fact, if anything, she tries to distance herself away from that shit all the time. Um, maybe I think she's called herself alt-like, but even then, I, I feel like that's such a useless term. I mean, alt-like, what the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> so, what, I don't, I think that's useless. But, um, 
I've never seen her like really go in this alt right hard stance. And certainly, you can say she's a traditionalist. Maybe you know, maybe you could say that, and and that would be something to criticize. Lauren, I'll bring that up later in the video. But again, to say that she's alt right or she's a white nationalist is just not something I think you could say with earnesty or say with accuracy as to her positions. So the fact that she would date an individual who you know was half black. I don't know, it, it doesn't seem like it's actually in opposition to anything she's ever said, ever, at all. So it's an odd thing to criticize her on a position she never held, or something she never thought was a problem. You see anything wrong with this? Yeah. yeah, probably not, but I don't know, I just, I, I just can't find the point in time where Lauren was like, Don't be with those darkies! <laughs> Uh, so, but again, even from that frame of reference, there's another thing that kind of gets me, though, about the topic. Because, once again, this was in Lauren's past. So let's just assume, let's just assume, you know, that um, Lauren did become alt-right. She is an alt-right, uh, I guess, cheerleader now. I don't know what you would call him. Um, even if that were the case, my friend, if she would have dated this man in the past, then that would mean that she dated him in, in the past and is no longer dating him at this moment in time, and thus, there would be no problem. <laughs> like, assuming that, like, again, assuming she is alright, where is the transgression? Because if she dated the guy in the past, maybe she wasn't alt-right then, maybe she didn't think too much about the destiny of white people then, and so maybe she was just like, hey, he's a nice guy, and he's handsome, looks good, you know, I want some dick from him. Is that not possible? I don't know. It seems really, I don't know, peculiar to me that that thought did not occur in the minds of some of these people who got upset. But then here's something else I thought was hilarious, though, because <laughs> I watched this one guy make a video about this. It was funny. He, he had this English accent, um, and he was talking about how it's okay that Lauren did this. I'll just stop and say this. I'll just pause for a second. I was like, <laughs> like the way he said it, the way he set up that it was okay that she did it, it was that it was in the past. It was a mistake that she would have made. And I'm sitting here like, I mean, you do know, like, the guy, she, he's a person, right? I mean, like, to you, he's just some just some, some hybrid nigga on the internet. But, like, you know, you, you can think abstractly. You, like, you know he's a he's a guy who just, you know, does his own thing, right? Like, you mean a mistake? I mean, like, was he a bad person? Maybe they broke up because there was some distance. I don't know. Maybe they were going in different places in life. I, maybe he's not a terrible human being. I mean, he could be, but maybe he's not. I mean, to, to just come to the conclusion that it was a mistake, I mean, he just totally you know, insulting the individual's character. Maybe it, maybe it's reasonable. Maybe he was a mistake. Maybe he was abusive. I don't know. But what I do know is that we don't know. And so to say that is, it's kind of shitty. Anyhow, he says that it was a mistake Lauren could have made. And that um, the problem isn't the fact that she made the mistake. The problem is the fact that she's not acknowledging it. The problem is the fact that Lauren actually defended herself. Because the original tweet is that some guy, maybe it was a woman now that I think about it, some person shot out a tweet on Twitter, and I was like, hey, now I know why Lauren dislikes Muslims. She used to date one. That's actually really strange to me, because if a woman would have dated an individual, it's kind of tough to come to the conclusion she didn't like them. That's not true at all, actually, because lots of women date people that they don't fucking like, now that I think about it, but I digress. The point that I'm making is that it would be strange. And then Lauren said that it's kind of funny that you say this half-black, half-Irish Christian guy is a Muslim. So it's actually interesting the fact that these people assume that he was a Muslim because he was of a darker persuasion, or because he was brown, let's be real. That's kind of funny, but that's not really the topic today. What is funny is the fact that, again, the guy who made the video was like, you know, the fact that she sat there and she defended this man, that is the problem. The fact that she's not acknowledging that she was wrong, that is the issue here. And I sat there and I was like, is it not possible that maybe Lauren, like, doesn't dislike this man she dated and she's not going to throw him under the bus for the accolades of a bunch of people on the internet? Like, maybe, like, could you imagine being that guy Lauren dated? Like, you guys are still friends. Like, just, like, you're still friends. You still just, you know, chat with each other every now and again on Facebook, see how you're doing. <laughs> you go on her Twitter 
And you see Lauren just throw you under the bus. Nah, nah, man, I didn't mean to date this guy. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Could you imagine being that nigga? Like, like I mean, Lauren, I know we broke up, but shit, man. <laughs> I mean, like, but shit. I was like, hey, fuck. Like, <laughs> I think there's a lot of, I don't know. I think there's just a lot of not recognizing that the other person is a, is a person. And, you know, maybe he was a great man. I don't, I don't know the guy. Maybe he was horrible, but... To come to the conclusion that it was a mistake because he was dark, I mean, that, that's, I don't know, that's shitty. But then again, to be fair, I mean, these people are, you know, they want to save the white race. They want to save white people from their own destruction. So I can understand why they would be a little upset about this. Because when you really think that um, white people are going to go extinct in the future, you know, like every time you see a white woman with someone else, it really bother you very much. But... I, that's really strange to me, I'm not going to lie, you know, mostly because there's a lot of white women none of you niggas would be touching right now. Like, here's something that's interesting, right, because when you look at, like, let's talk about white women specifically, right? You have a spectrum of white women, okay? And you have the spectrum of white women that prefer dark people, and then you have the spectrum of white women that only like other white people, okay? Like, they just, <clears throat> white people, just that, right? Okay, you could put most white women, you know, somewhere mm, over here. Like you, most white women you'll probably ever encounter ever in your life are, are going to absolutely prefer to be with white men. There's no question about that, by the way. I'm, it's not even a joke. If you see, like, there's white women in this spectrum over here that are just like, nah, I like that BBC. They're either porn stars, um, they're out in the boonies, they're out in the ghetto, they're out... I don't know, they're definitely not, the rednecks would be somewhere over here, so they're not rednecks. But they're out in some socioeconomic area where there's mostly a bunch of black people. They're like, oddly enough, like the minority in the area where there's just a bunch of black guys and just a lot of black culture that is permeating her mind. But most white women, honestly, in America, especially out in the Midwest, who've never even seen a black person, they're not hungry for BBC. That is a uniquely porn star kind of thing. Uh, most white women absolutely would rather date other white people. Basically what I'm saying is, it's not really much of a concern if you honestly think about it. I understand that a lot of these guys think that they have to save the white race somehow. I don't really know how they're going to accomplish that goal if they're not trying to date white women. But they want to save the white race. I, ca I can get that, but... You know, honestly, here's the thing. Here's the two. Here's two things you gotta understand. You have to understand fundamentally about white women that they mostly prefer white men. Honestly, a lot of white women they are not hungry for niggas of different races, unless they are in that socioeconomically lower bracket where they're just surrounded by them. Um, I think maybe some people might think that that's racist, but it's not really racist. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just explaining why it happens to be the case. Um, most white women, again, they're not they're not in that area. They're not in that spectrum. You have the women who, and this is just a fundamental aspect of women that must be understood. Fundamental aspect of women that must be understood is the fact that they they just kind of want to be with men that that take care of them. That's that's it. You know, I'm pretty sure at this point, you know, you would have heard some MGTOWs call that hypergamy. They want to try to get the best man they could possibly get. If you really want to get a white woman that bad, you just got to be a good man. Because most women, here's the thing, most women, honestly, they're not like, oh, I got to date a guy the same race. Most women are like, I got to date a guy, you know, get me some food to eat, and give me a house limit, and give me stuff. That's <laughs> that's what their mindset is. Now, of course, you have, like, some women, obviously, they have their preferences. But honestly, when you want to appeal to a woman, it's not, you know, just physical looks. I mean... Honestly, as a man, you can compensate for that by giving them food to eat, giving them a house to live in, and just giving them stuff. Because women are very materialistic creatures. And that's just, that's the truth. That's the truth right there. So, honestly, if you want to save the white race, all you have to do is just turn yourself into a great man and then find a white woman to be with. And considering that most white women want to be with white men, you, you, it's not even a conflict of interest. You don't even have to convince them. You just... You just have to exist. You just have to be in the right place at the right time. So yes, I mean, is, are there some women who like mud shark, and that's a whole topic unto itself, but are there some white women who only want to be with black guys for whatever reason? Yes, absolutely. 
but they are the vast minority to the white women that just are just women and just kind of want people to like get them a house to live in and even then most of the white women you'll ever encounter will absolutely prefer to be with white men it's not even a, it's not even a discussion not even a decision it's not they just do it so it's not really even anything to be upset about because most of the women you will encounter will absolutely give you what you desire so there, there's that, there's that. So, I'm not making this video to White Knight for Lauren Southern to defend her honor or anything, because I, I do think that Lauren Southern can be criticized on a couple of things. And I say this as an individual that likes Lauren Southern. I'm not saying this because I dislike her. It's because I like her. There's lots of things you could criticize Lauren Southern on. Like her opinion of marriage could absolutely be criticized as something that's absolutely foolish and kind of silly, honestly. Uh, I still love no, but seriously, you can definitely criticize the videos she made about marriage, you know, why she's not married as the ramblings of some millennial that doesn't really know what she's talking about. I mean, yeah, that could be done. Criticizing Lauren Southern because in the past she dated some hybrid back in the day that she may or may not still, you know, kind of care about as an individual. I just don't think that that really hits home on any point she's ever made. I just don't think that's honestly legitimate criticism of Lauren Southern because I don't think she's ever had that opinion to begin with. I think maybe you could say that because Lauren talked about the Great Replacement or the Great Migration of, of Muslims into European countries that someone would then come to the conclusion that obviously she meant that, hey, white women shouldn't be with brown people. But I don't really think that that's what she was saying if that was the, if you did come to that conclusion. Pretty sure what she was saying was that, you know, they're replacing white people because white people don't have a birth rate necessary in order to keep their numbers at equilibrium, let alone to create more. So I don't really think she was saying that it's a problem that like white people are with brown people. I think she's saying that the brown people are replacing the white people. And then there's arguments about that shit unto itself, but again, if you think that that's why Lauren would never date someone of a darker persuasion, because she is, despite those kinds of views, I think you misinterpreted her. I mean, if she's over here saying that, I don't think it's okay for a bunch of Muslims to rape the, the German women there. I don't think the problem is the fact that they're Muslim. I think it's, uh, I think it might have something to do with the fact that they're raping them. I don't, I don't know. So, I see in this video, you know, I certainly hope you guys enjoy. I certainly hope you guys got something out of today's video. Basically, what I'm saying in today's video is this. It's not that serious. It kind of happened in the past. And even if it happened in the past, I mean, most women, they just, they just want men to take care of them. So, they're not really too keen on the guy's race. They're just more keen on, I mean, is this guy going to give me a house and some food to eat? If you as a white person want to save the white race, you just must become a man that has a house and is willing to give women food to eat. <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to do. You don't even have to be a particularly interesting person. You just kind of have to, you know, show them that you can have lots of money or can take care of them. And, and then in their minds, they will... Fill in the gaps of your personality with their own nonsensical bullshit. That is a fact. That's it. That's all you have to do. If you want to save the white race, that's all you have to do. Become an interesting man. Get some amount of money. Get a house. And then just go out and have a conversation with the white woman. And boom. Obviously you have to like have children with her. Because otherwise that would all be for nothing. But that kind of goes without saying, right? Does that go without saying? I don't know. So that being said, man, I actually hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go and click the like button. Yeah, shoot. Go and click that subscribe button. Come in the comment box below. And as always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.